Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Service YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to go over the list of the best VPN chosen by Reddit users. So let's get started with the first one. And at number one, we have NordVPN. Now the NordVPN is arguably the best VPN in Reddit. NordVPN offers multiple features and military-grade encryption, which is the prominent feature among them. Now it is sturdy enough to provide intense speed for torrenting and streaming via 5100 plus servers in 60 countries. Now if you were to go over some of the pros that we get with NordVPN, then NordVPN provides top-notch privacy and security. It also prevents your real IP from getting leaked. Now it offers a double VPN in which you tend to acquire an additional layer of protection by linking two VPN servers all together. Now NordVPN is considered to be the fastest VPN available for most devices and the double VPN feature allows multi-hop connections. Now with NordVPN you also get a kill switch which means that it shuts off access to the internet for specific applications, further means that there is no DNS leaks and it provides online privacy protection and the users get access to Netflix content. After that, let's talk about some of the cons that the NordVPN has. So torrenting in NordVPN is only supported on some servers, not all servers. Other than that, the OpenVPN configuration of NordVPN is not at all user friendly. And after that, the selection is through selecting city locations, not specific servers. Other than this, it does not support graphic interface on the Linux application. Anyways, that was NordVPN. Now let's talk about number two on our list, which is the Surfshark VPN. Now, according to Reddit users, Surfshark is the cheapest no log VPN. Not only it provides unlimited simultaneous connection to its users, it also has 3200 plus servers in more than 65 countries. Its speed is sufficient for quality P2P and streaming. And some of the pros that we get with Surfshark VPN are as that Surfshark provides safe and private connections to its users. It also provides a multi-hop connection to its users just like the NordVPN. Now it unblocks most streaming platforms and torrenting and P2P connections are allowed. It even supports shadow socks. Now this tool, Surfshark is fast, secure and has smart DNS features such as clean web Surfshark alert feature. Other than these, it has a steady server presence globally and users are relatively satisfied with the experience of Surfshark. So some of the cons that we get with Surfshark VPN are that it has a very weak social media presence and sometimes it becomes orders to stream Netflix due to its erratic P2P behavior. It does not support whitelistler or shadow socks for Mac. Other than these, the major drawback is that it has a weak customer support and it does not even offer dedicated IP addresses for purchase. Anyways, moving on with our list, at number 3 we have the Mulvad VPN. Now the Mulvad VPN is on the list because of its outstanding speed, privacy and port forwarding features. It has more than 750 servers in 36 plus countries and it turns to unblock allow PTP and does not even log. Anyways, some of the pros that we get with Mulvad VPN is that it offers tremendous speed all across the server. It only supports secure VPN protocol and it even supports the IPv6 configurations. It follows a strict no logging policy and it also provides multi-hop servers to its user. And just like the Node VPN, it also has the feature of a VPN kill switch. Now some of the cons that we get with Mulvad VPN is that it does not provide good customer service and it does not work with most streaming services as well. Furthermore, the user need to have a high technical knowledge to use specific features. Other than these, it does not block ads and the website is not very informative as well. Number 4 on our list is TorGuard. If you're looking for the best VPN for torrenting, then Reddit users will suggest TorGuard. Unlike other mentioned VPNs, this VPN also does support the no logging policy. Also, it is known for providing fantastic speed, security and a decent price to its users. Now talking about the pros of TorGuard, then TorGuard provides outstanding availability and security. It offers an app-specific kill switch and it provides extra security options as well. Now it can be deployed on all leading platforms which means Windows, Linux, Mac and even mobile applications. Now using the stealth mode, TorGuard tends to overcome VPN blockers. Other than these, this VPN is specifically built by keeping P2P into consideration and it delivers effective and efficient customer service as well. Now there are not a lot of cons for TorGuard other than that it has an outdated interface and the users need to have a technical knowledge to access TorGuard. Moving on to number 5 on our list, we have the CyberGhost VPN. Now the CyberGhost VPN is considered to be the best VPN overall and is mostly liked by Reddit users. Also, it is cheap, allows torrenting and it is user friendly and it even unblocks various streaming platforms. 
So the thing that is best about this VPN is that it provides safe access to its users. Now some of the pros of CyberGhost is as CyberGhost has a vast network layout spread across the globe. It delivers a sturdy choice of protocols and encryptions to choose from. It even optimizes the profile servers for multiple usages. Just like I've mentioned before that it provides multi-platform support and it has a decent and stable speed. The CyberGhost VPN is priced according to the users who are seeking long-term plans and it offers good streaming for Netflix as well. Now some of the cons that we get with CyberGhost VPN is that it does not have any unique features. It also has an evasive data jurisdiction and anonymity and it provides limited payment options. Moving on to number 6 on our list we have the ExpressVPN. Now the ExpressVPN not only provides the cheap no-log service but also stays on its promise. It was praised for its amazing speed and long server list. It has one of the fastest options available and has a plethora of security features. Its trusted server technology ensures that the data is never written to a hard drive. Now some of the major pros that we get with ExpressVPN are listed onto the screen and as you can see that there are a lot of them. Now it offers enormous speed all across the server locations. It provides advanced security on both the application and servers. Now the ExpressVPN maintains a privacy and uses strong encryption which is of the highest grade encryption available. There are many protocols to choose from. It supports split tunneling and it works together with the streaming sites internationally like Netflix US and others. And when it comes to the customer support, it offers 24-7 live chat services. Now some of the cons that we get with the ExpressVPN are that it is comparatively more expensive than its rivals. It does not have a labeled streaming service and it has frequently dropped connections. And when compared with other VPNs, it does not have a kill switch or split tunneling on iOS and it also does not contain a Linux graphical user interface. Moving on to number 7 on our list, we have the Proton VPN. Now the Proton VPN is relatively popular among the Reddit users because of its high speed connections, huge server selections and secure core technology. Its secure core feature routes your data via multiple servers before leaving the network. This way, it prevents the hackers from monitoring the network and matching your browser activity with your connection. Now some of the pros that we get with the Proton VPN are the sturdy encryptions and protocols that we get with Proton VPN. Other than this, the Proton VPN supports no leaks and no logs policy. It even secures your core servers, provides considerable speed, enables the user to stream Netflix, BBC and so much other streaming services and it tends to support the top browsers and P2P connections. Other than these, it provides a variable pricing as well. After the pros, there are some of the cons that we get with the Proton VPN. And the top and the foremost is that it is only limited to Asia region servers. It is susceptible to the VPN blocks. The P2P availability is mostly restricted and it only supports email. And the configuration process can be a difficult one if you're not already familiar with the process. At number 8, we have the private internet access. Now the main feature of the private internet access is its unlimited bandwidth and lightning fast speed. It comes with a military grade AES encryption and has a strict no logs policy and a kill switch that disconnects you from the internet if the VPN fails. And recently it has added the smart DNS server as well. Now some of the pros of the private internet access are that it provides flexible encryption options to its users. It offers complete protection security services to the users as well. And just like I've mentioned before that this VPN has a kill switch and the security blockers. Other than these, it allows faster torrent downloading with PIA and double routing via proxy servers. It is very user friendly and it provides excellent customer support. Now, Some of the cons that we get with the private internet access is that it is based only in the USA, it does not comprise smart DNS and it has limited number of streaming options. Anyways, that was the list of the top 8 VPNs as voted by the Reddit users. Now if you still want to learn more or read more about this list, then you can simply check out the blog linked in the description box. And if you have learned anything new from this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.